Unfortunately, it is near certain that we'll be forced to ask the utilities to cut off power to millions today to balance supply and demand today and tomorrow and perhaps beyond. We already predict the demand today and tomorrow will greatly exceed supply. We loathe cutting off power and do it as a last resort. We know this disrupts lives, risks health, and is economically damaging. For those of you who think we can just use our reserves, you are wrong. You are trading the loss of 3,000 megawatts for the collapse of the entire system in California and perhaps the entire West. Um, John, um, you mentioned that there are standards we follow um, that are um, NERC uh, standards. Those standards are in place for a very good reason. Um, they're there to ensure there's no system collapse. Right. When you're at the very edge um, and you have a contingency and you have no operating reserves, you risk entire system collapse. Is that not fair? That's correct, Steve. In fact, that uh, afternoon or evening there when we had the negative 1,200 megawatt ace, if we had deployed our reserves to recover our ace, but then had a large generator, Diablo Canyon, one of our bigger thermal unit trip, I could not have recovered, but have had our ace and frequency drop dramatically and put the rest of the interconnection in jeopardy. So that is the reason I need to protect those reserves. And so when I do lose a, a large generator or large transmission line that reduces energy into California, I can return our system to normal and not have that impact the rest of the interconnection. 